What's up? All right, you're with Split Studio um, on YouTube, and I'm going to show you real quick the Yahoo Chat client called Ysupra, um, spelled Y-S-U-P-R-A. Put that in Google real quick, and you'll come up with this very top one up here that says Portal. Click on that. Make your an account. You got to make an account on this web page. All right. Activate it through your email. And once you're activated through this page, you come over here. You don't have to pay nothing at all. This is absolutely free. You go click on downloads. It's clean. This is very clean. No problems with this program. Click on install. And you'll download the thing. Obviously, you'll install it. That's the only way you can do this if you got an account with these people. All right. So once you got the program, this is what it looks like. All right. Very first thing you're going to want to do is go to your account manager, which is under this upper top left here with Messenger. Go to account manager. Put your user screen name on. I have the check mark in the auto connect. If you want to go invisible, you can. All right. And then, but I usually never do. So I put the username, password. It'll pop it your name right over in this box. Double click on this box. All right. So. Log it in real quick. You double double click logs in. You're signed in as your user sc screen name. Click over here on this chat. If you want to join a chat room, all right. And this you're gonna for all you people that just use regular Yahoo Messenger, you're gonna see this. The chat room is gonna look so much cleaner. Almost no bots whatsoever, and almost completely unbootable. There's a couple that can hit it, but it's very rare you'll find anybody that can hit. It this client offline so so you're nine I, I say you're like 98 percent safe in a chat room people can't boot you and plus they've got a god mode now and i'll show you how to do that real quick so i'm gonna pick a chat room here real quick um let's just go to some random chat room go to california california 2 all right double click on the name just like regular yahoo and oh, let's see here Put in the capture. All right, I'm in the chat room. Looks exactly like regular Yahoo. Looks beautiful. You notice no bots. All right, a couple minutes, people will start talking here and stuff. <laughs> See, there you go. You can start reading the chat room. It's coming up. And then all you do. I'll show you like preference, preferences real quick. Come over here. You open this up. On your left-hand side, this is all the different choices you got. Um, you got to pretty much just spend a night going here and mess around because some of the stuff's really cool. Um, for your voice, first thing you want to do is go to your voice, click on dominance. Um, you only really want this slider bar. I usually bring this down to about 52, 52-ish. Uh, let's go, yeah, let's go 50, 54. Oh, let's go 50. We're going to go 55. Um, see, I got the mute right here, obviously. We're going to go 55 on, on my preferences, okay? And then what else we got here? I like to display ignore notifications because there's another spot. I'll show you. There's another spot here you can put your messages in because you can make funny stuff or whatever. Um, username, wildcards, these are all your wildcard names. If you want to throw other names in there to block it from the room. Um, you can change your servers, your sacks. Um, you got safe list, obviously, message wildcards, instant message. You can do safe list strangers. You can do slider bar on this strangers so you can this is your basically your bot filter, okay? And you'll you can crank it up even more, but you really don't even need it. You just need it halfway, really, or else you're gonna end up eating a lot of people that you actually talk to or stuff. Um, you can set it for auto updates. You really want to go in your preferences and just set it exactly how you want it, okay? This here, um, display, ignore message right here, um, display client identification this is really important you want to take this check mark out of that box 
you don't want other people knowing you're using Y Supra because then they'll go download it, obviously. And next thing you know, a whole entire chat room, you can't boot the whole chat room. Which brings us to later programs. <laughs> See here, I'll go here and change this. I'll say my client is, uh, uh, let's just say my client is mine. All right, <laughs> and okay. That's that when they go look for my client. That's what it's going to say. Um, and then you can right click here. You can go and this is really cool. If you go and say you got one with ears on, and he's talking on the mic and he's really getting on your nerves. You can go and do disallow voice. That takes his voice away, and then you can push the talk button down. Keys all over, all over him all day, or you can obviously iggy him. Sometimes it's more fun just to, because they can still see you typing the stuff if you do this loud voice. Um, let's see what else. Uh, display image, uh, chat users. Real quick, if you do chat users, brings them up for the whole room. You can see everybody's picture. Just a bunch of cool stuff you guys might want to check out, man. It's Y Supra uh, for Yahoo chat client. Use it. You guys can find me in Michigan too, mostly. A couple of other chat rooms. Um, yeah, man, just look for Spliff. Spliff's pretty much what I go by, a bunch of different screen names. Um, I'll go over a bunch of other programs with you guys in the future. All right. Hope you guys pretty much, I don't know if I talk too quick or what, I'm trying to squeeze as much as I can in with a short amount of time, you know. So, yeah. All right, man. You guys all have a good one. Peace.